Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland, Obsidian Flames, installment number three of our retrospective of Scarlet and Violet Year One standard sets. <clears throat> so, we will be giving away the top card in the box, prices of a box, and of the cards we pull will be popping up on screen as we pull them. So we can see kind of what the EV of the set is. You know, I mean, a one booster box, you know, sample size is not very indicative of overall EV, estimated value of a box, but, you know, it's still fun to watch. So that's the whole point of this channel. Doing stuff that's fun to watch, giving away the top hit of the box. So what I like doing, I just basically do this in my free time. I'm not actually making any money on the channel. So, for the giveaway, before I forget to say, make sure to comment. That is how you enter the giveaway. We do a giveaway for every opening, because I sometimes I'll do videos that aren't actually openings. I just like to talk about TCGs sometimes. But for every opening, I give away the top hit. And if it's like a promo box or a bundle, I will give away the promo in addition to the best hit out of the packs. Because sometimes, you know, promo boxes don't actually get a hit, which is unfortunate. But when there's only four packs, it happens sometimes. So you just get the promos sometimes with collection boxes. Charmander Reverse. Cool. Looking for top three cards in the set are the Charizard EX Special Illustration Rare, followed by the Charizard EX Gold, and then the Pidgeot EX Special Illustration Rare. And then I think the fourth highest card in the set, surprisingly, is the Pidgeot Double Rare. It's kind of interesting. For a Double Rare, it's like a $4.50 Double Rare, I want to say, which is actually surprisingly good for double rare. A lot of times after the set has been out for a while, a lot of the double rares will be worth like 20 cents. So a $4.50 double rare is quite good considering there's probably a large supply of them. It's got to be quite a good card for actual gameplay. All right, Armor Rouge, Toad's Cruel, Scizor, so, unlike our last box, Paldea Evolved, the top hits in the set aren't spread out across multiple rarities. They are all just kind of the really rare stuff, either Special Illustration Rare or Gold, which is more typical. It's actually very unusual for the top hit of the set to be an Illustration Rare. All right, we've got Lechonk Illustration Rare. Very cute. Lechonk. Oh, a double hit pack, Dragonite EX, double rare, double rare out of double hit pack. All right, so from zero to two hits, not bad. Going pretty well so far. Usually 10 to 12 hits in a booster box. All right, Cleffa, Salandit. Toxtricity. These packs are a little bit harder to open than the Paldea Evolved packs I just opened. I'm actually recording all three of these back to back. Oh, that's weird. Does it come up on screen? It doesn't come up on video very much. These cards kind of look faded, like the printer was running out of ink. It's the font is not, yeah, it doesn't come through on camera, but uh, they were like really faded looking, like the printer was running out of ink. All right, Darmanitan, Wug Trio, Decidueye EX, Double Rare. Very cool. Total Freedom. Interesting. Interesting ability name. Grab Brawler, Whiskash, Umbreon, Reverse Diglett, Drillbur, and Entei. 
So Obsidian Flames, a little bit of a smaller set, which actually makes it a little bit easier to pull one of the really good cards, considering that you typically will get a special illustration rare per box. Sometimes you'll get two. Very rarely you won't get any, but that is extremely rare in my experience. Altaria Frogadier Gita. So it being a smaller set, you have a little bit of a better chance of pulling something good. In fact, I think when the set came out, I opened four booster boxes of Obsidian Flames, and I got all four variants of Charizard EX. So very cool. Putting together, if you're putting together a master set and you pull all four Charizards in four boxes, that's pretty cool. Let's go villain. Charmander, Litwick, Sharpedo, Camerupt, Reverse, Tadbulb, Claydol, Zigzagoon, Palpitoad, Wiglet, Togetic, got Scyther, Glovit, Togekiss. You know, it's funny. I was, I remember when I was opening this set, I pulled a couple of Ninetales, and I was kind of hoping that Ninetales would do the same thing that Magikarp did with Paldea Evolved, and it just didn't, which was unfortunate. So strange that the top card in Paldea Evolved is a Magikarp illustration rare. But, hey, the market does what the market does. I guess there may have been, like, huge buyouts, and then once something is just established, then it just kind of becomes a thing. All right, Tad Bulb, Poltegeist. We've got Reverse Wiglet, Darumaka, Palafin. We haven't gotten a huge amount of value yet out of this box. Kind of had a bunch and then nothing hit-wise. Blood Trio, Kangaskhan, Reverse Bronzong, Arbolova, and Gita Full Art. All right, getting a hit at least. Full Art Trainer. So that is four for this side of the box now. Dratini, Charmander. We've got Bunnelby, Froki, Scizor. Last pack for the first half. No super rare hits yet. Larvitar, Whiskash, Floatzel, Umbreon, Vengeful Punch. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Top hit of the set. That is going to be our giveaway. To enter the giveaway, comment down below on the full video. Very nice. That is beautiful. This is actually the second one I've pulled now. I love that. Let, we're giving away a Charizard. I could put that in the thumbnail, put it in the title of the video, and it was a double hit pack. Look at that. Giving away a Charizard. Clickbait at its finest. Although it's not just clickbait because we are actually giving it away. Giving away a Charizard. It's not a, it's not a Burning Shadows Charizard, but it's still a good Charizard. <laughs> The, uh, the Rainbow Rare Burning Shadows Charizard is like $400 is why I was saying that. But it's still a Charizard. It may only be a $35 Charizard, but it's still a Charizard. Larvitar. Very cool. Illustration Rare. Giving away a Charizard. That's fun. That's when you get the, the little dopamine high. That's why I like doing these. Pulling a good card. 
It's like winning the lottery, except it's easier because there's only like six special illustration rares in the set. <laughs> All right, Fungus, Phantump, Toxtricity. That's awesome. Especially after our Paul Day Evolved box, which had two special illustration rares, neither of them good. So now we get to give away a Charizard. Very cool. All right, Bellabolt, Lichonk, Town Store, Clay Doll. We got to come back down to Earth. Got that adrenaline pump, adrenaline, dopamine, all the things pumping through the veins now. Phantom, Vulpix, Nine Tails. We've got Larvitar, Clefairy, Palafin. Man, I want to look at that Charizard. I want to take a look at the condition of it, see how much I'm going to have trouble parting with it. <laughs> so if it's like something that's like flawless that could be graded, you know, I don't want to give that away, but still going to. Let me take a look real quick. Centering on the front is a little bit off. Centering on the back. Oh, it's definitely not a PSA 10. So I guess I'm not too distraught. All right, yes, definitely some imperfections. So I would not get that card graded. But hey, a free Charizard is a free Charizard. Just comment down below. I usually will top load the card and send it in a plain white envelope. All right, we've got Spoink, Swablu, Thunderous. Magnemite, Electric, Bear Tick, Charmeleon, Reverse Crabominable, Togekiss, and Togekiss again. Fraternal Twins. I think each of our boxes from this little year one retrospective, all three boxes have had Fraternal Twins. All right, Doug Trio, Diggersby, Reverse Grievard, Salazzle, Darkrai. We have, what, seven hits? Still should be getting like three hits or possibly more. Three hits would be on the low side of normal, although we could have an abnormal box, I guess. But we did get the highest hit in the set, so even if we have lower than normal hit rate, number of hits, then still be pretty cool. Gita, Steeny Bear Tick. Oop, come on, open up. There we go. Very cool. Very nice Charizard. That is actually the highest value hit out of all three of these boxes now. Snubble, Mawile, Houndoom EX Double Rare. Brings us to four double rares. That's pretty average for a box. Still should be getting one illustration rare and maybe like a full art Pokemon or something. All right, we've got Reverse Toxtricity, Rowlet, Entei. Oh, I just noticed that card's like really glaring. All right, so that card will obviously be sleeved and top loaded after the video. There's always someone that's like, you didn't sleeve the card? It's like, well, if I sleeve it, then the glare on the card from the lights, I have like all these three big old spotlights on the cards here. It's too much to see, you know, it's too reflective. Barboach, Scizor. So 
So I do take good care of the cards. I just don't sleeve them during the video because I want you to be able to see it back there instead of just a big square light reflection. All right, Seismitoad, Oinkalone, Toxtricity. All right, down to, what, five packs? You should be getting, like, one or two hits. Usually you'll get three illustration rares in a box. Pretty typical. The track printing on this generation is pretty spot on. Scarlet and Violet. Track printing is pretty typical. Whisk Hash. Cleffa, there we go. Illustration Rare Cleffa. That one's actually not bad. Oh, another double hit pack, too. We've had three double hit packs out of Obsidian Flames. Very interesting. Terra EX Greedent. Magnazone, Mawile, Buizel Reverse, Finizen, Darkrai. All right, three packs remaining. Still a chance for a hit in three packs. Sinistee, Toxel, Bear Tick, Dragonair. Reverse, Bond Sly, Palafin. All right, Snubble, Bronzor, Gloom, Arvin, Stunfisk, Umbreon, Reverse, Young Goose, Reverse Toxel, Thunderous for the Hollow Rare. We are on the last pack now. Can we get a hit? Can we get a full art Pokemon? If we do get a hit, my guess would be a full art Pokemon. It's probably going to be a full art Pokemon or nothing. So let's see. It'll be the last hit of the pack. It'll be a regular set hit. So in the in the uh, Hollow Rare slot, Tim Pole, Magneton, Excadrill, Pidgeotto, Dragonair. We've got Reverse Finizen. Reverse Audino, Clay Doll. So no full art Pokemon. But look at this beauty. So if you want this card, we're giving it away. Make sure to comment. That's how we're choosing a winner. Choosing a random comment in about five or six days after the video goes live. And make sure to subscribe because I do a giveaway on every video. So if you want to know when I post, then subscribe. You can enter to win on every video that I post if you wanted. All right. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.